All right, Lamar Jackson solidified, happy. Baltimore gets their man back. They had Odell Beckham. They've got Mark Andrews coming back. They drafted this kid. A lot of people are very high on as a wide Zay receiver. Flowers. Say his name again. Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers. He's the kid that famously now worked out with Patty Mahomes. Mm -hmm. I know you and James Jones love this kid. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens, who made the playoffs last year without Lamar Jackson for the last, what, month and a half of the season, now get Lamar back healthy, have more weapons, have a new offensive mindset. That is a problem for other AFC teams that are kind of on the border of are they in or out. So if you remember, only seven teams make the playoffs in each conference, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Meaning there are going to be really good quarterbacks that just by easy mathematics are not going to be in the playoffs. I made a list, all right? I've got the top five good quarterbacks in the AFC that are most likely to miss the playoffs Ooh. based on what's happened this offseason. Mm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Number five, Deshaun Watson. Cleveland Browns, Deshaun did not look great in his first year back. And to be fair, until the Cleveland Browns prove that they're a worthy playoff team, they're not. I'm a fan of Deshaun Watson's. I think he has a much better year now that he's fully back in the NFL, but he plays for the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not willing to say that Lamar or Deshaun Watson is going to make the playoffs. He's a great quarterback, or he has been a great quarterback in the years that we saw him with the Texans. He has not proven that yet with the Cleveland Browns. He does get a full offseason and a season to play. We'll see what it looks like, but in that division, it's going to be tough. Yeah, it's going to be very tough, yeah. And again, until they do it, I'm not going yeah, to think you. they're going to do it, okay? Number four. This one's an easy one. Not worth a lot of conversation. I only bring it up because the guy has had playoff success, has been to a Super Bowl, has been to championship games, and that's Jimmy G in Vegas. Okay. Uh, listen, they're in an incredibly tough division. Uh, they lost Darren Waller. I'm not sure how happy Devontae Adams is. I'm not sold on their coach being a good head coach, and he always gets hurt. So I think Jimmy G, while he's a good quarterback when he's healthy and has a lot of playoff success, the Raiders are not making the playoffs. Yeah, no, the Raiders aren't making the playoffs. Just looking at that division, uh, yeah, no. He's, All right. he's not the this best is player. where it gets interesting now. Let's go. And where you snowflake franchises okay. and fan bases have to just accept this as a reality, oh, okay? God. Here we go. For the last three years, Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills have owned the end of AFC East. They're still a very good team. The New York Jets just got Aaron Rodgers. They're now the best team in the AFC East. So if you allow me that the New York Jets win the division and Buffalo comes in second and gets the wild card, who's the odd man out? Tua and the Miami Dolphins, number three on my list. These are good quarterbacks who are not going to make the postseason. Mm. And I know Miami made the playoffs last year. Yep. Tua all banged up. Third string quarterback. Damn near beat the Bills. They are not making the playoffs this year because Aaron Rodgers is a Jet. I'm willing to go with you there, just bear, <coughs> with his history of being injured, not being able to play out a full season. Obviously, we saw what he was when yep. he was healthy. I'm with you there. Let's okay. continue. All, All right. right. Continue. All right. Number two on my list. This guy made the playoffs last year, and it's going to be obvious where I'm going when I say this. It is the single worst uh, letdown. Uh, an embarrassment in the second half of a playoff game any uh, team has ever had. Huh? Whoa. The L.A. Really Chargers so. and Justin okay. Herbert. Wow. And I say that because I think the Denver Broncos are going to have a much better year with Sean Payton as their head coach. I agree. And a bounce back year from Russell Wilson. They're in an incredibly tough division, and I don't think they win their division, and I don't think they make the wild card. Justin Herbert now is going to have to explain why his legacy includes a single playoff appearance and zero playoff wins, kind of like Derek Carr. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, I don't, I'm, I'm starting to okay. get off the little bandwagon. Okay. All know. right. It's gonna be this tough. is all based on the fact that Aaron Rodgers is now the starting quarterback for the New York Jets and Lamar is happy and back in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. So who's number one? Who is the very good quarterback most likely – to miss no. the playoffs no. this year. No. They have a very tough schedule, this team. Very tough schedule. I'll give you the schedule in a second. But the team that is most likely to miss the playoffs based on the New York Jets owning the AFC and Lamar Jackson being back, <clears throat> Joe Burrow no. and the Cincinnati Bengals. No. Just no. The window is closing. Yes, no. that is correct. You guys have the Bengals schedule? Can we put that up, please? Pretty sure we have it, right? The Cincinnati Bengals 
Very good team, very good quarterback. Look at the schedule. Uh, just the away games alone. Take out the divisional games, right? Mm -hmm. Jaguars playoff team. 49ers best team in the NFC. Titans a perennial competitive team. Stop it. Chiefs best team in the AFC, not named the Jets. That's a 0 for 1, 0 for 2, 0 for 3, 0 for 4. Plus, the Steelers have their number, and they're only getting better. The Ravens, of course, have their number, and they're going to be better. Then look at the home schedule. They got to deal with the Colts and C.J. Stroud. They got the Texans what? and, uh, no, Colts and Anthony Richardson, pardon me. Mm -hmm. Texans and C.J. Stroud. Okay. I'll give you a win against the Rams. <laughs> Seahawks come okay. back to year two under Geno. You've got Kirk even... Cousins in Minnesota and the Buffalo Bills really. with revenge. They may not win eight games this year. <laughs> That's going to be a tough, you tough, tough, tough the going Colts? for the Cincinnati Bengals. You just what said happened? the Colts. You said C.J. Stroud and coming in with the Texans. Texans. Listen, listen. There's always going to be one of them quarterbacks that has a great rookie season. Maybe it's C.J. Stroud. I don't know. And all of a sudden, when you become this, it's going to happen guy. against the Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals are the team most likely not to make the playoffs. No. Let's go over it again. These are teams with good <laughs> quarterbacks who are most likely not to make the playoffs based on Aaron Rodgers becoming the Jet quarterback and based on the fact that Lamar's happy in Baltimore. And I say this with the acknowledgement, somebody's got to win the AFC South. I'm giving that to Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's one of those seven Correct. spots, right? Okay. Number five, Deshaun Watson in Cleveland. Number four, Jimmy G in Vegas. Number three, Tua in Miami. Number two... Justin Herbert in L.A., and number one, Joe Burrow in Cincinnati. I asked the question, spot the lie. One. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one. Joe Burrow. Mm -hmm. Joe Burrow. Really. One. Joe number one on the list. Joe That's Burrow. the lie. So, so that means you have the Jets, the Bills, the Chiefs, mm -hmm. the Broncos. I didn't say Broncos. Well, you, you have. Did you say have maybe I did say Broncos. Maybe I didn't. You have the Chargers and not the Raiders out. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. And then you don't have another team. You got the uh, Jaguars. Jaguars are going to win their division. There's only one team in the, uh -huh. in the South. I agree. And then who, who uh -huh. am I missing? The Just, AFC? Listen, don't complicate things. No, I'm, it's a simple, basic list. Five good quarterbacks who are going to be sitting next to me in February hmm. talking about the Super Bowl. That's all it is. That's all it is. Not a knock. It's reality. So how Aaron Rodgers being the Jet quarterback has just changed the entire landscape of the postseason. Only seven teams make it, and the Jaguars already have one of the seven spots. Right? Sorry, not sorry. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.